What's up, everybody? It's the JAY man here. And I'm going to be doing a review today on Skull Classic Mint Long Cut. <coughs> and my phone's doing that weird thing where it's kind of cloudy, a little overcast, and it's wanting to come in and out. I don't know why. I got to invest in some better equipment. I've been saying that forever. But, you know, with me only having 260 subscribers as we speak, which I'm thankful for, I haven't quite made it up to the top to where I can monetize this thing and start making some dough so I can put back into the channel. You know, finances are tight, so I got to roll with the old equipment. So, pass it along. Tell your friends. Tell your relatives, subscribe to the J-A-Y man. Even if you don't like what he does, still subscribe. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. And uh, this is going to be my third video reviewing dip spit tobacco, as some call it. I did the Skull Classic Wintergreen, and I did it in the long cut form. And I did it in the pouch form. So, those were okay. I like the old school long cut version better than I do the pouches. I feel like the pouches, they're cleaner. They're easier to, you know, toss in your mouth and spit out. And it's a lot cleaner, but I, I just feel like you're just not getting the experience with the pouches. I feel like people that do the pouches are maybe just wanting like a quick nicotine fix and it's not really about the experience or you know just what comes along with the chew you know same thing like when it comes to cigars you know it's not about smoking because you're trying to get a nicotine fix it's about the experience of going through the cutting going through the lighting the toasting the smoking the whole experience so i feel like when it comes to dip I <laughs> go the old school route. I got allergies bothering me today. I've been sneezing, coughing. But anyway, take me a little swig of some of this old Milo sweet tea here. The JAY man is a big fan of the sweet tea. Make sure that's on tight. Let's go ahead and get us a pinch. And we'll chat. We'll chat. Ooh, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna sling this thing right off the balcony, man. That'd be bad. I look out below. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie, I've already had a pinch out of here. I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for the video. So I've already tried it. But let's go through the motions as if I hasn't, haven't tried it. I just don't want to lie to you. Because if there's one thing the J-A-Y man is all about, it's about telling the truth. You know? Truth, justice, and the American way. And I'm still trying to get the hang of... I'm still trying to get the hang of doing this stuff. Because I tell you... It's sometimes frustrating. Let me get me a good sizable pinch. Try not to waste any. Try not to waste any. This shit ain't cheap. I just don't want to waste any of that flavor. All right. I've noticed when you're dipping and you're not around somewhere where you can wash your hands, you got to have one of these. I mean, maybe for me. Because I'm kind of a rookie. I'm a rookie getting back into it. Okay. Huh? 
All right. So we're rocking and rolling. I think we're good. Okay, keep it clean, people. Keep it clean. We like a clean station out here. Right off the bat, it's minty. Mm. It's so minty, it's got me shivering. Already producing some damn good spit. I had some earlier today. I just opened that can up. Uh, tried some today. And I'm not going to lie, I liked it. Right off the bat, it's got a very strong, powerful mint flavor. So if you're into mint, you're going to love it. And as I've said before, Skull says it's been around since 1934, a pinch better since 1934, made by the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. Because if there's one thing them boys up in Nashville know about, it's about making some damn dipping tobacco. Warning, smokeless tobacco, believe it or not, is addictive. So if you have an addictive personality, you might not want to try it. I myself do have an addictive personality, <sighs> but it's one of those situations when it comes to anything, you have to, uh, you have to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Can't get out of control. thing about dip, I'll tell you, it's like you got to be just accustomed to just being messy. I mean, but I guess over time you get better and better with it. If any of you old school dippers or, you know, that are uh, watching this, if you are watching this, leave me a comment. Say, that is true, J-A-Y, man. The more accustomed you become to it, the better you get. And I did mention in my previous skull video that I did dip for a short period of time, a long, long time ago, and uh, I don't remember it being this messy, but then again, when I was a younger man, I probably didn't really give too much of a shit about keeping shit clean. Um, they really don't say anything else on the can. Guaranteed fresh. I do like the little cans that they come in, the little tins. Those are very cool. I like that. The mint's not bad. I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. It's real flavorful. Because I had a pinch of it in my mouth earlier. And I probably held on to that pinch for about 45 minutes. Uh, maybe 40, 45 minutes. And... Uh, I was still squeezing some mint, still squeezing some juice out of that. So it seems to hold its flavor longer than the wintergreen. But I will say overall, to me the wintergreen tasted better. But I'm the type of person whenever I go and buy gum... I'll choose wintergreen over spearmint. So, it might just be my taste buds. But it does produce good spit. It'll keep you spitting. It's very flavorful. When I was dipping it earlier, I did get... I wouldn't say a really strong wave of nicotine, but I was feeling it. If you are not, if you are a person that is not used to nicotine, 
and say you were to do this, I would start off slow, small pinch. Because I've heard a lot of stories about this stuff. Well, it'll make you green behind the gills. Last thing you want to do is be spinning. You gotta go lay down, drink a lot of water, flush that shit out of your system. But overall, I think it's a good product. If you're into it. I mean, if you're not into doing any type of smokeless tobacco, you know, whether it be dip, snuff, or, you know, I guess dip and snuff's the same stuff, right? Or like chew. I've really been wanting to try some chew. Like some Red Man. I've never had Red Man, but I've been real curious about it. But my wife's given me a little bit of flack on that. You know, she's been giving me some flack about that. Because she's like, you know, the beer was one thing. The cigars and the pipes, that's another you know, she's like, now you now you want to review dip. She goes, now you wanting to, now you want to chew on some red man. She's like, you know, she's like the buck's got to stop somewhere. But I don't think so. I think it's my duty. It's my duty to the people to let you know. That way you can live vicariously through me. And be like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. You know, based off my opinion. It does say it's 100% American tobacco. I missed that part. I think I mentioned that before, though, in the other video. It ain't bad. I probably wouldn't buy this one again. No, because it's bad. But I, I would prefer the wintergreen. Even though the wintergreen does seem to lose its flavor a lot quicker. Um, but at the same time, if I do buy more dip, I'm going to buy a different product. So I can, of course, do a different video. Because I'm really dipping not to cause an everyday habit but basically for review purposes. But then at the same time, I do one dip per video. I still gotta finish the can, right? Can't waste money, can't waste product. That's unethical. It's uh, unethical in, in the business sense. But I think overall, it's okay. If you like mint, like those little white mints you get, like you go a place and like say you go somewhere and they got like a little candy jar and they got them little white mints in there and the little wrappers, take them out and pop one in, a lot like that. Close to a peppermint. So, I'm rocking almost 15 minutes. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's not bad. If you're into mint, you're into dip, you haven't had it yet, go get you a can. I want to say I paid five, six bucks for that. From the Murphys. Well... That's all I'm going to say about it. I got nothing else. Friday's coming up. So if you're going to drink some beer, cheers. You're going to smoke a cigar. You're going to smoke a pipe. Stay smoking. You're going to dip some good old dipping tobacco. Stay dipping. It's the J.A.Y. Man. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment, say something.
whatever. Peace out. Hit them with the peace out.